Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's channel, Seven Powers of the Soul channel. Thank you for joining. I'm so, so glad that you're here. So if you're joining me live, if you'd please um, ask your questions and put your questions in the box, and I will try to get to them. <sighs> so last week we talked about distractions and what was keeping you distracted from your purpose. I hope you spent some time like looking at what the distractions were. Because this week we want to go a little bit deeper. Because we know that you're still allowing yourself to be distracted. You're still giving up your power to your distractions. So why do you allow yourself to be distracted from your purpose? What's the purpose of it? What's the purpose of being distracted from who you are, what you are, why you're here, the big decisions in your life? Why do you stop yourself from making them? Any decision in your life. Distractions are created by your ego. And when you choose to follow them, you literally give your power up to your ego. Now, the ego is not the villain here. After all, you created the ego, right? The ego is created by the thoughts, the beliefs, the emotions, perceptions. That's your creation, all yours. So you're not a victim to your ego, unless you choose to be, unless you choose to follow the distractions that the ego creates to keep you from knowing and understanding and being your essence. So the reason we're bringing it up again is because we spent an entire week with some amazing, amazing, powerful creators, magnificent, magical, any word that you want to describe them. Their light was so bright that literally they could change the world by stepping into their power. Yet they were denying themselves their power. They were denying the world their power, their essence, their love. What's the purpose of denying yourself so much joy and bliss and happiness that you stop living? That you hide your light? What's the purpose? What must you experience in order to change? What must you experience in order to change? There's absolutely no logical sense to continue denying yourself joy, bliss, happiness, love. There's no logicalness to it. So we ask you, why? What's the purpose? It's not worked in the past. The game of separation has not worked. The ego creates lack paradigms. Anger, frustration, hatred. 
that has not worked. It has not worked. You are in the midst of this amazing shifting consciousness. What do you need to experience in order to make the shift? You're creating the shift as we go. What will it hurt? What will it hurt to allow yourself to be so powerful in your life? And I, we're talking about power of your love, power of your existence, power of your decisions, power of who you are. What would it hurt for you to be the brilliance, the depth, the vastness, the amazingness, the magnificence of your light? Your conscious. Pureness. Change your direction. Change your focus. Focus on your purpose. Focus on things that bring you bliss. And do that. And stop using all the excuses of the world that you don't have time, that you don't have money, that you don't have people around you, that you don't have support, that you don't have whatever it is. Stop using those lack paradigms as your excuse. There's so much energy coming to the earth right now. to support you in changing your direction. And if you're not doing it, you're missing out. We don't want you to miss out on anything. So what is it that you need to experience to make a change? What is it that you need to experience? Something different than you've experienced in the past? Abundance paradigms? They're here. They're available. Step into them. Step into the power of them. And allow yourself to shine. Because you are the shift. So we would like to move to questions. Avoiding the pain or disappointment of being wrong. There are no wrongs. There are only experiences. Change the words. We have talked before about how powerful words are. Change your words. If that's the only thing that you change, change it and feel the power of it when you change the words. Stop giving your power to the words. (laughs) Lisa, I was not going to watch today, but I literally heard a commercial that's said the four mothers have something they want you to hear about five minutes ago. Don't you love synchronicities? Don't you love how the world works? How our souls work by sending us subliminal messages someplace else that we might pay attention to? (laughs) It's so fun. It's so fun. Hi, Cindy, Angela, Barbie. Hi, how are you guys? If you have questions, please ask them. Hi, Pat. 
Pat is unsure of direction, lack of purpose and discernment. What's the purpose of having a lack of purpose? There's always a purpose. Always a purpose. Everything has purpose. You live in a world where every single thing has a purpose. This chair I'm sitting in has a purpose. The sun has a purpose. The water you drink has a purpose. Where does the power lie when you tell yourself you don't have a purpose? Maybe the purpose of not having a purpose is just to take a break. That's okay to have that purpose. It's okay to have that purpose. Sometimes we need that. If you're listening to your own inner self, your own inner guidance, you should have not any worries about discernment. Step into your power. Step into your truth. Hi, Renee. What are your other questions? I hope you're all having an amazing day, amazing week, amazing life. Today's channel, you might feel is a bit different than some of the others because it's time to get serious. Not serious in a dreadful way, serious in a powerful way. Be who you are, why you are, how you are, and what you are. Don't deny yourself your power, your joy, your bliss, your happiness. You are the shift. Stand in the power of being the shift. Lisa asks, how do I block or avoid disturbing thoughts during trying to meditate? What's the purpose of having disturbing thoughts? Change the thoughts. What do you need to experience in order to change your thoughts? Your own love, your own energy. When you're meditating, are you feeling your own energy? Focus on that rather than the thoughts. Pat asks, what are some steps we can take to become more spiritually mature? It's a very good question because that's really where we are. Moving from an immature spiritual knowledge to a much more mature spiritual knowledge. That is kind of the shift in consciousness. Listen to yourself. Stop listening to those crazy thoughts, to those crazy emotions, to those belief patterns that don't serve you. Listen to your own inner guidance, your higher self, your God self. I don't care what you call it. Listen to that. What's your truth? Ask yourself all the time, is that my truth or is that a belief? Is that my truth or is that an emotion? Is that my truth or is that someone else's thought? Stop paying attention to the outer world. Pay attention to the inner world. Where the knowledge really resides.
All right, my friends, we love you dearly, endlessly, passionately. And we will see you next week.